how big one in the USA, Japan, Europe, and Sinai, and everybody else that's watching our videos. Thank you. Uh, anyhow, I'm making a specialty that we could get in Guam, uh, either at Royal Lanes or at Linda's Cafe, similar to their concoction. However, I'm going to make something that you guys can make, which can remind you and make you reminisce of those tastes. Anyhow, I'm making a Chamorro chopstick. In, in, in the Chamorro language, it's... In, in Chamorro English, it's chop is is steak. So, chop is steak. <laughs> oh Anyhow, I am using here... I'm using country ribs, Chamorro slash country ribs, um, cut steak. I cut them to about an inch and a half length and about half an inch Boneless width. chuck rib steak. Boneless chuck rib steak, exactly. Thank you, John. I'm using um, some bell peppers right here, some cabbage, some carrots, onions, and garlic. So the first step in this process is the garlic always first. I used about a tablespoon times two, so two tablespoons of oil to garnish my flavoring. When I say my flavoring, I'm using about six cloves of garlic and then one whole beautiful onion to go into that. Now John, if you wouldn't mind my buddy, if you would step back for a second. So that I can grab my tomorrow lady. Stir this up. I have this cooking on high. Mm, that smells good right away. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the onion and garlic bean cup. And I'm gonna throw in the most important part of the meal, which is the steak. So I've got my onions and garlic cooking on one side, I've got my steak cooking on the other. And then I'm left with my additives, which are going to be cut up cabbage to about this size, my bell peppers cut up to about this size, and um, my stringed cut carrots cut up to about this size. Now, these three additives are going to be your last um, components to add to your dish. Guess what? <coughs> That's what I have to say. Anyhow, thank you, John, for giving me that. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up, as well as my meat. And in this video, you're basically going to see the most important parts of making tomorrow style chopsticks. A. You're going to need to know how to begin. And you're going to, you're going to want to begin with having at least your tablespoon or two of vegetable oil cooking hot as hell in a pot and then you're gonna add your like four or five cloves of garlic and you're gonna add one whole hefty looking onion chop into that seasoning to come to like this right here next you're gonna after you segregate you're cooking onions and garlic you're gonna want to reserve the rest of your pot for your beef what I'm gonna do in this video um, even after we tune out I'm gonna continue to delaca or stir the meat so that it can become brown once it's browned and the onions and garlic have savored into the juice of what's cooking 
Then I'm gonna start adding my soy sauce, my banana or vinegar, and then I'm gonna add the other spices that I'm gonna add to make this dish delicious. So after that is when I'm gonna add my bell peppers, my cabbage, and then my carrots. So once again, thank you for tuning in to part one of making tomorrow chopstick. Once again, you can find this, um, you can no longer find it at Royal Lanes because Royal Lanes no longer exist. However, up and coming soon. Anyhow, you can also find um, this at Linda's Cafe. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for part two of cooking tomorrow chopstick.